Hello, I'm Martin Thijssens and on behalf of TAS International I welcome you to this manual introduction training where I will give you an overview of the integration methods that you can use in a manual simulation. Manimo gives you the possibility to select three different time integration methods. One is the order method, which uses a constant time step. The second is the fourth order Rubukuta method, which is a constant time step with, with, but with a higher accuracy. And the third one is the fifth order Rubukuta method, um, which gives you a, a variable time step and the time step is adapted based on stability and accuracy calculations during the simulation. Since Manimo is generally a simulation with um, a combined multibody and AV uh, components, it is strongly recommended to use the Euler time integration method with a time step that is small enough. Selecting a proper time integration method and a proper time step is a balance between accuracy and stability. Of course, as a user, you would like to use the largest possible time step, but that could cause an inaccurate calculation or even an unstable calculation if the time step is outside the boundaries of stability of the integration method. For the finite element method, Manimo calculates a time step that is necessary based on the courant criterion and as a user you don't have to worry about that time step. The time step that you set on the control analysis time is the multi-body time step and that time step has to be chosen with care to make sure that the multi-body uh, integration is both stable and accurate. In order to illustrate how this works and what you can do as a user to prevent unstable or inaccurate calculations We'll look at a simple example of a spring and damper, sorry, spring and mass system. For example, here we have a mass of one kilogram, restrained by a point restraint with a stiffness of 100 newtons per meter, loaded by gravity, and in the untensed tangent position, will we release the mass. As you can see, this simple example has an analytical solution for which you can calculate the, the time history of the, defer, of the deformation as well as the energy balance, which you can see here in the, uh, in the graphs. Numerically, we can analyze the energy of a system, for example, with a time integration step of 0.21 seconds, which we know to be too large and to be outside the stability region of the time integration method. You can clearly see on the right side that the deformation, the, uh, the motion of the mass is far off the analytical solution and you can also see that the energies tend to infinity. This is a particularly well suited way to see if an simulation is uh, stable. As long as the simulation is stable, the energy should be bounded and, when it's accurate enough, the total energy should be a constant. So what happens if we lower the time step? Let's lower it below the value of stability and we clearly see that now the deformation, the displacement of the mass is at least bounded, it's far off accurate but it's still bounded, and the total energy drifts uh, but is no longer tending to, uh, to really large in, uh, values. This is an indication that the time step is too large, but the calculation is stable. As a user, you should now lower the time step further to make sure that the uh, calculation becomes accurate. So let's now, in several steps, lower the time step to 0.1 seconds and look at the total energy what happens if we further lower the time step? 0 0.05 seconds, 0 0.025 seconds, you see that the total energy becomes better and better uh, a constant, it drifts less and less, and that also the displacement of the mass becomes uh, approximates better and better the analytical solution. Eventually, when we have a time step of 0 0.001 seconds, one thousandth of a second, as an engineer, you can see that the total energy is constant 
and the displacement of the mass well, appro well approximates the, uh, the analytical solution. So, when choosing a time step for a Mariamo simulation, make sure that the time step is chosen such that there is a stable, but mostly, most important, an accurate solution. The bigger the time step, of course, the faster your simulation. But wrong results are still a wrong result. If the multibody time step is too large and outside the uh, stability region for the entire multibody system, Madimo eventually will detect that energies tend to infinity and will abort the simulation. Nevertheless, it is still recommended to always analyze your energies, especially your total energy, and to make sure that that is a near, nearly constant um, so that the accuracy of the calculation is not compromised by a too large uh, time step. Of course, it's good practice to always check that your time step is small enough uh, and therefore the simulation results are accurate enough by lowering the time step one more time to see that the uh, results of the simulation have converged. Note that the Manimo dummy models have been validated with a specific multibody time step that ensures that the model behaves both robustly and gives accurate results. The time steps that are needed for, for, an, for an occupant model in the Manimo uh, dummy model portfolio are given in the model manual and can be of course seen in the, uh, in the, uh, in the model file, the XML file. Note that stiff contacts, stiff joints or force models with very large stiffnesses reduce the time step. This also means that if you use a characteristic, for example, for a contact that should bottom out, so have a large stiffness in the end, um, you should be careful with that to choose a bottoming out stiffness that is not too large, compromising the, uh, the speed of your simulation because you need a smaller time step for stability. Similarly, small masses will require a smaller time step because small masses um, and small moments of inertia uh, analytically give a uh, smaller stability region. Finally, if you do a manual simulation, when you do a manual simulation and you combine multibody NFE, make sure that um, the time step of the multibody simulation is small enough so that subcycling is avoided. Our experience with uh, complicated uh, models is that if finite element simulations become to start to subcycle within a multibody time step, meaning multiple AV time steps within a multibody time step, the accuracy of the simulation is compromised. In that case, simply lower the multibody time step or use the use AV time step attribute under the control analysis time element. Thank you for your attention.